Congratulations, you made it to week two, day one of your morning summit journey. Today's challenge is difficult, but you were a man and you were made to do hard things and I know you can do it. But today you're gonna write your manifesto and you're gonna write about the man that you want to be in 30 days. We're only talking one month from now. Okay, you'll still be in your morning summit journey. Who do you wanna be in 30 days? Now recognize that 30 days is plenty of time to implement a new habit, but it's not enough time to experience a harvest of massive change and growth. You will have little changes. And what do you want those little changes to be? Write it out, describe it. And then after that, think about who you wanna be in 90 days. Now this is gonna be at the end of your morning summit journey. You've gone through the whole process. You are doing the habits of phase three and you're ready to move on to the next phase. What kind of a man do you want to be then? What emotions do you want to be experiencing? What habits do you want to have in your life? Describe the relationships that you want and the quality that they are in your life in 90 days. And then when you finish with that, describe the man that you want to be one year from now. Next year. You're one year older. You've experienced some amazing things and some hard things. You're a different person, but you're different because of the choices that you started making today. Who do you want to be? There's a great teacher who said that many times we over, um, overestimate what we can do in a short period of time, like a month, or a week, but we underestimate what we could do in a long period of time, like a year. So as you're writing out your manifesto and visualizing who you want to be, really dig deep into the little changes you want to experience in these first 30 days and, and, and the medium-sized changes you want to experience this next quarter in 90 days, and then the big changes that you want to experience in a year. You see, God loves you just the way that you are. But he wants you to be free. He wants to heal you. You see, when Jesus looked down at the man who was sitting by the pool of Bethesda and he, and he, and he was uh, blind or couldn't walk or, or any person that he healed, he loved them in their crippledness, in their blindness but he didn't want them to stay there. He wanted to see them walking and leaping and praising God. And God loves you right now where you are with your addictions and your foibles and your failures and, and your crippledness, but he wants to see you run. He wants you to mount up on wings of eagles. He wants you to run and not grow weary. And one of the ways he does that is he calls you into this morning summit experience where every morning you're, you're putting positive things into your mind, you're moving your body, you're focusing on him. And as you allow him to transform your mind, you will no longer be conformed to the patterns of this world, but you will start to think and act and love like Jesus. Because I promise you, no matter what happens, God is faithful. He loves you very much. God's got this. God bless.